What's up, my YouTube people? Thanks for coming back to see just what I do today. I hope you're having a great day today. My name is Stacy. If you didn't know that, thank you for uh, clicking on this video. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you can see more of these cute little puppies and see what just what I got going on. But anyways, as you can tell, we are outside. There's the pup pups again. Whoop, 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 whoop. There they are. There they are. It's a big bear. But anyways, we are outside. We are going to do a quick campfire grill on the grill veggie side. It's super easy, super quick. Let me show you some of the ingredients real quick. You're not going to need much. You're going to need a big can of corn, a big can of green beans, a pack of mushrooms that I luckily found on Markdown, a bunch of butter, an onion. Now if you don't have an onion, you can do the dried onion if you're out camping and whatnot and you don't have a fresh onion. Garlic powder. And we're also going to add some of this red lobster seafood seasoning. So, let me set up the tripod and we'll get this going on this quick grill side dish. Grill veggie side dish. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. Now the first thing that you'll want to do is take your big can of corn. You can use the small can if you want, but I like veggies so I got the big can. Take your big can of corn and dump it in your bowl. And do the same thing with your green beans. Now if there's too much liquid in the green beans, just pour some off. Give me one second, I'm gonna do that real quick. Now we're just gonna pour the green beans in with the corn. Dump that all in. And then the next thing we're going to do is dice up what's left of our onion. The other half is in dinner. Now we just want to like small dice this. We don't want big chunks. Or at least I don't. If you do, then leave big chunks. Now just dump those in with your green beans. Last thing is, just dump in the whole package of mushrooms. Just the whole thing of already sliced mushrooms. We're going to give that a good stir real quick. Make sure those onions are all broken up. No one likes a big mouthful of onions. Now we are going to add some of these dried onions too. Now that was just a uh, chopped dehydrated onions if you don't have a regular onion or you can just use onion powder. I'm also going to add some garlic powder. And then just a little bit of this red lobster seafood seasoning. It does have a bit of a kick to it, so I don't want it super spicy. Give that a good stir real quick. I'm just adding a little uh, season all. Stir it all together, make sure that seasoning gets all over everything. I think I'll add just a little more of the red lobster seasoning.
Now the next step is to dump this in a fire safe container or dish like uh, like aluminum foil or metal pan or even a cast iron pan would be good for this. I don't have any cast iron pans so we're going to dump this in. I'm just going to mound it all up in there as much as possible. Get every last goodie out of the bowl. Now, yeah, I could have just dumped everything in the pan here, but it would have been hard to stir. So we're just trying to fill in all the holes, even it out. Now, the very last step before we go throwing this on the grill or on the campfire or anything like that is to add a bunch of butter. Now I added three heaping spoonfuls, so we're going to cover this with foil and get it on the grill. I threw a little extra seasoning on top of the butter so it'll melt down into everything. <coughs> Last step is to cover the whole thing with a good thing of foil. Now you'll want to use the heavy duty kind of foil, not the cheap stuff. Especially if you're using this on the campfire. Because you could set the whole pan, just like this, next to the fire on the campfire, or if you got a rack over your campfire, and set the whole pan on there. Wait till the butter's melted, and then you got a tasty veggie side. So let's go put this on the grill. So here we are at the grill. As you can see, I've only got that one side lit. I don't need the other side lit. This is all I'm putting on the grill today. The other half is in the oven. So we're just gonna slide this over the hottest part of the grill. Hottest part of the grill. Let this go for a while. When I start to hear it sizzle, I'll turn it down a little bit because I don't want the bottom to burn. But that'll be like one or two minutes. And then you pretty much, all you gotta do is wait till all your butter is melted and this tasty side dish is done. So I'll see you back here in about, I don't know, five minutes or so. What do you think? It's a handsome boy. And that's my phone again. It's honey bunny. And my honey bunny. What do you think? Yeah? Hi, ah. hands up. Hi, honey. You having fun? Yeah, I can't keep you in the frame. Look at that handsome boy. Yeah. Well, it's starting to smell really good now. So I think this is ready to pull off the grill. So I'm going to pull it off the grill, 
set aside, give it a couple minutes, and we'll give it a try. All right, pop pops. There they are. Okay, let's take this off. Okay, my YouTube people. This is nice and cool now, or cool enough now. So why don't we give it a try? Smells really good. Now you can do this recipe in the house, in a pan, or in the oven. But I think it's really cool to do it on the grill. And a really easy thing to do out if you're camping on in the fire, or on the camp stove, or however you're going to do it. But it smells really good. Let me get you a little bite of everything. Just get a mushroom on there. So here you go. Careful, it's still really hot. So what do you think? I think it came out really good. Now that red lobster seasoning just gives it just a little hint of a kick. Now you don't have to use the red lobster seasoning, you can use whatever seasoning you'd like. You can use whatever veggie you like too. And as you can see, it's got lots of juices in it, which is great to put your piece of bread in or your roll or whatever you're going to have with dinner. So, I hope you'll give this recipe a, a try. Sorry, I got distracted by puppies. I hope you'll give this recipe a try and let me know what you think of it. Now, you could always put like uh, jalapenos or poblanos in this too. That would be pretty good. But yeah, let me know if you give this a try, because you can always try it in the house. It doesn't have to be out on the grill or by the campfire. I just think it's an easy, simple side. I hope you'll give it a try. I think it came out really good. And there's the puppies. There's Big Bear. There's Big Bear. Yeah. And there's my little honey. Playing with an oven mitt. So, I'm going to end this video. I hope you give this a try. Uh, leave a comment down below on what you liked about this video. And if you gave it a try and what you thought of it. So, thanks for watching Just What I Do Today. Please subscribe, whack the like button, and I'll see you next time on Just What I Do. Thanks again for watching. Hope you'll subscribe. Right, Big Bear? my big guy. Where's my honey? Where's my honey? There's my honey. There's my puppies. You say goodbye? Okay. See you next time. Thanks for watching.